This is the extra practice for chapter five, which means that tomorrow we're going to be having the chapter test. This is going to cover everything that we learned in chapter five in preparation for taking the test tomorrow. The directions, uh, the first part, are add and subtract and circle the related facts. So you're not just giving an answer here. You also have to decide which ones are related. So 5 plus 8 is 13. 13 minus 5 is 8. Are these related? Well, I have 5, 8, and 13 here. I have 5, 8, and 13. So these are related. So I'm going to circle them. Number 2, 7 plus 4 is 11. 7 minus 4, and this is something a lot of people are um, are getting wrong is that they're not looking at the sign. This is mixed addition and subtraction, so you really need to um, make sure that you know what the sign is that you're um, using. 7 minus 4 is 3. So here I have 7, 4, and 11. Here I have 7, 4, and 3, so these are not related. I'm not going to circle them. The next part says to subtract, then add to check your answer. So we're subtracting. 15 minus 8 equals 7. Well, let's check that. Is 7 plus 8 15? Yes, it is, and so we see that if those match, that it's correct. 12 minus 8 is 4. Let's check that. 4 plus 8, yes, that equals 12, and those two match. Write the missing numbers. This is um, related facts, addition and subtraction. 7 plus 6 is 13. 13 minus 7, then, since it's a related fact, that's also going to be 6. 12 minus 4 is 8. 4 plus what is 12? Well, since those are related facts, this is going to be 8 as well. Let's look at the back. For this part, you're, you have to circle the word add or subtract depending on what you did to solve the problem. Then you're going to write a number sentence to solve. Jill has three crayons. Jeff has five more crayons than Jill. How many crayons do they have? So what I have to do here is I have to figure out how many Jill has. That's three. So that's one part. Jeff has five more than Jill. So I have to think five plus however many Jill has is going to be however many Jeff has. So five plus three is eight. That's my other part. How many crayons do they have? So three plus eight. Uh, this was my two parts. So three plus eight is 11. So my number sentence 3 plus 8 equals 11. So I just did this because I like that whole part part chart. So my holes there, my two parts are here. How many crayons do they have? 11. Right ways to make the number at the top? 14. Again, you can choose anything you want as long as the sum or difference is 14. So I could write 10 plus 2 plus 2. I could write um, 9 plus 5, I could write 15 minus 1, and oh, look at this one. What minus what plus what? This is a tricky one. Let me try 16 minus 2 plus 0. Okay, 16, 8 plus 8, 4 plus 4 plus 8, 10 plus 6. I'm going to do subtraction. Let's do 18 minus 2. Then the last one, which are true, circle your answers, which are false, cross out your answers. 2 plus 5 is 7. 8 minus 1 is 7, so these are true. I'm going to circle. 4 plus 2 is 6. 9 minus 1 is 8. Those are not equal, so I'm going to cross it off. 3 minus 0 is 13. 12 plus 1 is 13. This is equal, so I'm going to circle that. The secret word is red.